It's a culture man. Oh yeah, bro, but you sound like welcome to the culture. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, peeps? Welcome to the culture. I'm here with KP. I'm here with Mike, the expert. And we got a special, special discussion based on the podcast. You know what it is. We talk about Love is Blind, mm. season seven, episode one through three. Well, I got to get yeah, your yes. head, man. You brought a golden goblet for yourself and just left me and Mike, the expert out. That's really well, crazy. Well, you know, you know, you know, you know, I, I you know, I probably should have let you know. No, I don't know. I don't know. I thought we was. You should know. Hey. You should know that the golden Bro, we like in a music group. We, we like in a music group. This is your edition. We supposed to be uniform. You didn't see mm -hmm. nobody in New Edition with a whole different outfit on stage, bro. So we got to get your head. Well, you didn't bring one for us. You didn't bring one for the producer, Prime Post. You just left us all out there, bro. Exactly. Exactly. It is what it is. It is what it is. They'll have it for the next show. But anyways, let's right. get into this <laughs> discussion <laughs> on episodes one through three. Yeah, man. So y'all know Love is Blind is back. And it, it, it's very, if you've never watched this, I don't know what rock you've been under, yeah. but this is one of Netflix biggest reality show definitely dates. uh they have this and they have the ultimatum i love both shows but basically you go in in these situations called pods these little rooms and you get to date a bunch of different people and find out if sight you can match scene. with somebody sight unseen <laughs> yep. if you can match with somebody and then if you do match with that person you're supposed to get engaged and you go on a honeymoon mm -hmm. and then from there you get to decide if you want to actually marry them and is love really blind so right we're at the yeah. beginning of the journey um i've watched all seven seasons now yep and it just keeps getting better and better so it's a good show and mm -hmm. this season specifically is mm -hmm. focused on i think washington dc yeah, that location DC area. Okay. DC, uh, uh, so DMV. all these shout out to right. the dmv shout out to the dmv okay all right so let's talk about what we've seen in the first three episodes yeah. are some of our favorite couples well yeah let's talk about some of our favorites so for me ashley and tyler are one of my favorites yep. uh, i thought they were a fit from the very first time they went on their first date they seem to really connect and i like i like their whole vibe man right. the vibe seems like they really like each other right yeah. and then tyler uh, opened up man which i was really surprised he kind of really got deep into his background yeah he dealt with a lot of that he had a lot of trauma and that his mom was a single parent raising right. three kids mm -hmm. and he got real emotional and one of the things that i thought was really stood out to me that was really surprising he talked about that ashley's voice was soothing but not only soothing it made him feel safe Oh, yeah. He was like, as a black man, that's kind of different. You know, I'm used to being a protector as opposed right. to somebody having space for me to feel safe where I can share my emotions, but they still treat me, you know, like they right. care about me. So I thought that was a pretty cool dynamic. I think what I really love about this couple is that um, they're both very... Uh, I guess very emotional, right? And they're they, you know, emotional intelligence, and, and right, exactly. And um, you know, a lot of times with with you know in the black community, mm -hmm. it's not really seen, you know, it's not seen highly for us to show our emotions so right. much and and show Especially love, love and, right? And so like I kind of appreciate. Because this is, of course, you know, going out to the masses and, 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 oh, yeah. and the media. It's on Netflix. So, right. you know, millions of people are watching this. Mm -hmm. So we can see that it's okay to show emotion right. to express yourself. Like, oh, yeah. you know, it's not a weakness. Like, exactly. You know, and, and that, I think that helps with our mental health. And I just appreciate, you know, both of them Definitely. for like kind of just giving their emotion showing that they look like they have really good I'm a human being. I'm a human being mm -hmm. and I have emotions and it's okay to show that. Mm -hmm. You know, as and as a black man, as a black couple. So I think that could help, you know, other couples oh, kind yeah. of become a little bit more vulnerable. vulnerable. They seem to be laying a good foundation. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Expert, so, what you what you think of this couple? What do you think about no, it? No, I I like that couple. That was one of the, the very few that I like so far. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well we know you right. do not like things, bro. You are, you right. never shy to tell right. us what you don't like. No, nah, no, nah, I look, I like that couple, Ashley and Tyler. They that's great. You know, um another one, um, I think is what Taylor Taylor and Garrett. 
Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, let's talk about Taylor and Garrett. Yeah. What you got on them? They're actually the first ones to get engaged. Yeah, they're the first ones to get engaged. I do think they're a little weird. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I they do connect think on that side. Yeah. Weird sites. Exactly. <laughs> but but they connect. You know. Big um, time. Big time. Yeah, big time. they connect. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, they connected over the sign, the the science and the family and all that. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I think that's gonna be. Um, I, th- I think they're gonna be an all right couple. I think they fit together. Mm-hmm. You know, wow. um, I'm not a big fan of them, but they fit together. So I I, I like that couple. What, what I appreciate about, I think it's Taylor, mm-hmm. uh, she really wanted to stick to the love is blind theme and make right. sure yeah. I'm not gonna give you anything so you don't know what I physically yeah. look like. You don't like. know my ethnicity. Right. You, know, yeah. you remember she brought up in a conversation that when she was talking about her mom. mom. Yeah. And she said everybody calls her mom by her first name. Right. And so yeah. he asked, what's your mom's first name? And she said, I'm not gonna tell you because that would give her that would my give it away. Yeah, so, right, exactly. Yeah. Right. Right, and I think you know they—they they look like they had a great reaction when they first see, saw each yeah. other. So I mean, you know, that could certainly turn into them. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. Well, he wanted so bad to know what her ethnicity was, well, and did. he just—that was big to him. Right. Because he kept asking about it. Right. You know. Um, Do you think? Because he also said he only had dated. Yeah, he white said he only had dated, dated white, white women. women. Right. Yeah. So I think he was a little worried about that. You think but, he was worried? Yeah. But when he saw her. Cause she's not an ugly lady, no, right, you right. know. She's a nice looking lady. So when he saw her, I think he was he was impressed, and she, I think she really liked what she saw too, right. or whatever. So that's why I think it's gonna, you know, it's gonna work out. It's interesting y'all say that, cause my opinion is totally different than both of y'all. Oh, okay. I think it worked in the pods. I've seen this happen before, where people work mm-hmm. in the yeah, pods, true, and yeah. in the real world they don't work. Right. Yeah. I know, kind of that happened during the UK season. One of the guys yeah. said. Uh, the guy that they said look like Craig David, I can't remember yes. his name right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Craig he's David and, and, and the short girl. The, yeah. yeah, the Afri- I forgot yeah. her name too. But, but yeah. He said that basically it works when you're on the honeymoon, which mm-hmm. is perfect. You're not mm-hmm. paying any bills, there's no right. real life. Right. Yeah. And when you're in this apartment, it works. Mm-hmm. But then once you really start to get into the real world, and it works in the pods because there's nothing else to do, right? right. It's only talking. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He yeah. said, like, but once you get in the real world, now your insecurities kind of start to ruin things. Right. And in his situation, she had a lot of insecurities. Mm-hmm. Ollie, that's his name, Ollie. Ollie, yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. But here's the thing. I don't think it's gonna work because they were super awkward to me. When I saw them in person, mm-hmm. it was you real about awkward. The reveal, the, when they yeah, came out. The, the reveal was awkward. Know. He was grabbing her face and like- I just think awkward. they're awkward people. But here's the yeah, thing too. Both yeah, awkward. they just like, awkward I just people. Think they're here's awkward. the thing too though. When you see people meet, they normally have conversation. They barely had any conversation. It seemed like instead of it being awkward, so they wouldn't be just dead silence, they would mm-hmm. just kiss. Well, they had a lot of um, conversation in the pods. What else are they going to talk about? <laughs> yeah, right but now? at the same time, people, <laughs> right. people normally I have more conversation good. about, like, mm-hmm. you know, when I see you, the voice matches the face and right. all these other things. And you mm-hmm. can kind of tell more of a vibe. And even when he got down on one knee to, to like, ask her officially to get married, mm-hmm. she did something weird. Like, she just pulled back, like, I was like, why is she pulling back like that? What's going uh, on here? I don't think so. I think I don't you're looking think so. too far into yeah, it. I'm just telling y'all, man. So. We'll see. I don't yeah, think we'll so. see. We'll I don't, see. I'm just putting yeah, out there we'll now. We'll see. I don't think they're gonna work in real life. I think it's gonna be cool on the on the honeymoon. Mm-hmm. And as things start to unwind, I think they're gonna unwind. Okay, and like yeah. I remember this in the first season, it was a group. They were really head over heels with each other. Mm-hmm. And then when he saw her in person. He really wasn't feeling her, and he kind of kept going along with it until the bitch right. fell apart. Yeah, fell but you apart, see, that's yeah. the thing that you're saying. He when when he saw her, he wasn't really feeling her. In this situation, I think he was actually feeling oh, her. Oh yeah, when I he think he's her. feeling her. I think you think she's not feeling her. I think it's her. You think not she's him. not feeling yeah, him? Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I, I think. Don't know. I think I, it, I'm telling nah, you, man. I, I was watching that. I think. You have a I vibe. think. Yeah, I think she. I think she liked what she saw. I have a vibe. I think she was content with what she saw. It wasn't like. The, you know, but that's the thing. She kind of made it look like that's what you look like, right? So uh, we'll, we'll, see. See. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll that's, get, that's my yeah, early we'll prediction see. that I don't think that they really gonna vibe long term, right? Okay. No, no. Well, we'll see. All right. So the next thing, um, how about let's talk about and, uh, Alex and Tim? Uh, yes, Alex and Tim. Yes. So, so Alex and Tim. Yeah. Uh, cool thing. Tim went to Norfolk State. Yeah. Shout out to HBCU. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout mm-hmm. out to them. My mom actually went. Got her master's degree from yeah, Served in the Navy. Yeah, yeah. he served yeah. in the Navy, which was cool. Mm-hmm. And then he brought up that, you know, he was real close with his sisters, but then he opened up and talked about one of his sisters passing away. Oh, two yeah. of his sisters yeah, passed away. Yeah, two of his sisters passed yeah. away. He told her the story and opened up. And one of the things that was interesting that he brought up that makes me kind of wonder how this is going to play out 
He said that when we talk, it's always something deep. I always find myself telling you these deep things I never say to anybody else. Right. And we just have deep conversation, but I don't know if we can have fun. Right. And they have one fun conversation, so I'm kind of like, okay, where is that going? That right. You feel like it's only serious conversation, but yeah. so far they seem like a good match, and uh, we'll see. With we'll kind of see. They kind of they kind of yeah, going a little slow with yeah, it. Yeah, we don't know with them. Um, Expert, what you what you think of that couple? I mean. Uh, I think with that couple, right now it looks like they're going to be all right, right? Mm -hmm. It looks like, but I mean, we'll just have to see, we'll have you know, because I mean, like you said, everything is just serious right. and they're trying to, they're just taking it slow. So we'll just they're have to see where that too. goes. Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest, like, they're boring. Honestly, with, <laughs> like, yeah, uh, I don't, honestly yeah. when KP brought them up, I was kind of like, uh, uh, yeah, they just, you know, I mean, you know, want to pass? I mean, yeah. hey, we, we, you, know, you know, hey, it's black, it's black love, you know, yeah. I, mean, I get it, but ooh, they boring. There's it's, better people to talk about. Right. Like, how about your boy Leo? Yeah, man. You know? All right. <laughs> why don't you go ahead and take off on him first before I get a piece, man? Go ahead and take off toss. Nah, I'm just saying, man. The so far, the villain yeah so, so definitely so here's the definitely. here's the thing and i'm just gonna keep it short like this if you don't want people to judge you based off of something right why would that be the first thing you put out there right he right. doesn't want people to know to judge him off of his money like i don't want a woman to want me because of my money but then the first thing you say is Oh, I got so much money, and right. I took over this business. And, I got an inheritance. And, yeah, I got and I don't inheritance. Have a word back. Yeah, right. then you out showing everybody your the your other Rolex guys, watch. your Rolex, and all this. I'm like, I'm and like, then, then you go into the pods and literally uh, uh, yeah. tell a girl, oh well, you know, one of the girls you dated, uh, yeah. Brittany, specifically, was that was Brittany. Uh, Brittany. Yeah, Brittany. Brittany, mm -hmm. the one who. Brittany is a person who, when they're talking, said, I don't want to go 50-50. Like, clear yeah. that. Like, she's like, she's she wants it clear. to be taken care yeah, of. Yeah. So, of course, she's going to say, like, yes. well, I, you know, I pretty much have all the money in the world. So, yeah. I mean, right. yeah, so, <laughs> it works out hey. for me. But I still want you to work. Like, remember, you was like, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 like, I got all the money in the world, and yeah, I can really yeah. take care of you, but I still want you to work. Because right. I want and you to have asked. something. And, no. he, and he asked uh, uh, Hannah about signing a prenup. He asked Brittany nothing about no prenup. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause he know, he know nothing he better, better than everything. Yeah. <laughs> and this is my thing too. Why are you in the pods with the men taking your Rolex off? Hand it around, try it on. You yeah. see, it's really heavy. Yeah, you know, like, like, what are we doing, bro? Yeah, I'm show sorry. Off for the guys he, too. he came off real lame, bro. Yeah, like, real I cannot lame. stand him, bro. Ah, uh, nah. Anybody that marries him is in a world of trouble. They they need to pass on him. I mean, Brittany's probably the only because she's probably looking for somebody. They yeah, I think take care him of. Him. And, I'm, I'm hoping that yeah. they they end up together. Yeah, they're the I, only I think, one. You know, they're the only. They're not a perfect match to me, but maybe for each other, yeah, it maybe it'll work out. But if Hannah marries us, no, nah, nah, she's not gonna be happy at all. No, so not here's at my all. thing too. When he when he told Brittany that he wanted to talk about what kind of range she likes, and she was like, okay. He said, well, are you okay that I'm gonna talk to you and Hannah about this? He didn't say Hannah's name, but my right. other connection. Mm -hmm. Right. That's it. Right. Who the hell tells a why, woman why that I'm gonna talk to another right. woman, woman about yeah. about possibly doing an engagement ring with her too and right. you? That's crazy, uh, Tom. Yeah. I'm picking out two rings potentially. Right. Uh -huh. I don't know who I'm gonna give the ring right. to. <laughs> yeah. And but then I want you to and then he had another right. answer, so I guess you feel some type of way about that. Yeah, huh? that was so yeah. lame. Like that's 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 so lame leading her on like that. Yeah, I just felt like yeah. he was you know, he didn't even need to bring that up. Yeah, and, like, then, and then he's in there basically begging Hannah to to be yeah. with him so, and all this, but right. he didn't really want her. So like, let's talk about. I think Hannah that's because Hannah he knows he got competition. Yeah, yeah. that's what that's it is. That's what it is. He just yeah. he just wants to win. You know, of course, he just it's an yeah. ego thing. He right? has competition, so right. Please. So Hannah also has a connection with Nick D. Now, yeah. Nick D. <laughs> pause. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird name. major pause. <laughs> what what is it? What's his his last name, Mike? It's, it's, yeah, it's really Dorka. Dorka. Let's just call him. So let's, let's just call him call Nick Dork. Right? Prime, Prime Nick Dork. What, what should we? What what should we call? I'm not calling him Nick D. Hey, that's a pause, isn't it? All the way. Okay. All right. Oh, <laughs> Nick man. Dorka. All right. So first he came on the show and we was like Rico Suave or something. Yeah, he yeah. was holla 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 holla, <laughs> yeah. bro. He, he was a red flag for all the women. Bro, he, there, yeah. he took the date into like the extreme. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to get them all like Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. But, but you could just see all the dates he was going and the girls were coming out like, hey, nah. yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> but they, they all thought he was smooth, suave, and all that, but they was like red flag. It, it, all red, flag. Red, flag. it was actually one girl in the first couple of dates, I thought it was going to work out because the girl said she worked for the Baltimore Ravens. Right. And he was, he's a kicker and a punter professional. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Played in the XFL, right. played right. in the AFL, mm -hmm. played, right. I think, a little bit of NFL. Right. I and think he college. said he was a Commanders fan, but she worked for the Ravens. But she worked so, for the Ravens. Right. Yeah. But I was like, oh, that's a perfect match. Right. She right. understands what you do. Right. And like, mm -hmm. she was like, no, no, you too slick. Yeah, but too. remember, also, yeah. she, she didn't respect kickers and punters. So she was well, she said, she said, I can't believe as a kicker and a slash punter with this much swag. This right. yeah. She didn't say that. But she was like, nah, red flag. So everybody, Thought he was a red flag, except, except yeah. Hannah. Yeah, they all thought he was right. an F boy. I guess H Hannah was like, "It's cute," yeah. until it wasn't. Uh -huh. When he started talking about you're gonna look good in a bathing suit or a bikini. Yeah, mm -hmm. but, but here's something. the thing: Hannah was still going to be with him. Those girls talked Hannah into being like. I don't want to, you know, you shouldn't be That's with this true. guy. Yeah, yeah, the girls but talked she, to her. But they, Hannah did go back and say it made me feel uncomfortable. It made yeah, me she feel, did say yeah. that. But she, I don't think she would have dropped him if it wasn't for those girls. No, okay. Well, yeah, the other ladies did kind of put pressure on her mm -hmm. and say, are you sure you want to be with a guy that's telling you everything you want to hear? Right. Instead of being with someone that you actually, you know, want right. to develop a relationship with. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, I know Hannah discussed that she's had some weight problems and trauma from man. weight issues in the past. Specific. So, I got to give Nick props, though, because mm -hmm. Nick... Nick handled like a champ. So she told Nick, hey, you know, <laughs> over the pandemic, I put on a lot of weight. And then she told Nick, hey, you know, I lost 41 pounds. You're like, 45. 45, 45, 45 pounds. pounds. And she like, he, he said, that's, that's okay. You're still beautiful. I don't care about that. Then she told Leo that. Boy, Leo got caught. And he was like, <laughs> Leo started doing the math in his head. Yeah. He like, 45 pounds. Wait a minute. Hold, 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 hold seven, up, though. 45. Hold up. 45 pounds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was all into her. He was all for her until she said that 45 pounds. Yeah. And he yeah. did like, Cause you know you can't mm -hmm. see what they look like. So it's like, yeah. uh, Leo, Leo about to go get him Britney now. <laughs> he said, forget me, it. Because I mean, if you, you, let's be honest. I mean, if you lose 45 pounds and you, you know, that's you lot, already bro. big. That's a yeah. lot. So it's like, yeah. and she kept so saying that I'm that not. Big or yeah. Yeah. Well, that's like, what she you kept saying. telling both like of them. She was really big. And now she's not yeah. that big. <laughs> but she kept telling both of them that oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not skinny oh, or I'm not what you would normally think of that water with a blonde girl. <laughs> <laughs> the man said water <laughs> Jeez, bro. <laughs> But that was crazy. Though, hey, Prime Post, man, how would you handle that if the girl told you that she used to weigh, she lost 45 pounds and she put on a bunch of weight during the pandemic? How would you handle that? Would yeah, you she be out after that? Yeah, she, she said, I, I lost well, yeah, weight, and I she, feel good now. And she said when she was in middle school, her mom had to put a right. lot had on, to put a lot on the cabinets because she kept eating the cookies and wouldn't stop. Right. So what would you do? You how would you do in that situation? Yeah, how, how, what would you think? <laughs> See, okay, to this defense. He, he can't see her. Right. Mm -hmm. So he, he can't see if she made a full snap bag or... Right. That, mm -hmm. right. But wouldn't that make you a little nervous? Because it's like, dang, 45 pounds. Like, it's, like, it's a difference yeah. between 10, 15, and 45. And 45, so, yeah. So you, <laughs> yeah, so you Nick... It's like, okay... But how much you weigh down? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you can't ask that, though, because now you're asking about her looks. Mm -hmm. Right. And then so, you're already nervous because they're, they're, you're trying to get over and try to I'll, build this I'll, emotional I'll, attachment yeah. and this so chemistry. Would you be out? Would you be out? Too nervous. Yeah, I don't know. See? <laughs> <laughs> My dog. You know, after the movie, it's sad, you know, the shadow mm -hmm. part of it. Yeah. So love yeah. is not blind for you. Nah, love is definitely not blind for you. you know that. Hey, that's a story for me. You know that. No, the that, net. That, yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, yeah, I probably handled the same way. You, know, you yeah, got quiet. Yeah, I, I, I would probably, yeah. yeah. My next question just would have been, I would have said, okay, oh, you lost 45 pounds. Okay, do you still, you know what, you still work out? Did you meet your goal? Yeah. yeah, yeah, or are you still <laughs> working you out? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so did you meet your dog? I was just trying to see if she's still working out. Like, what is her lifestyle now? <laughs> you said what? Yeah, she's a lot of gold. 
Xbox. Yeah, that is. That is. Yeah. Like, did yeah. you reach? Did you reach your goal? Like, I don't know. I, well, that's I, a good I, way to ask it, though. Without yeah, being too yeah, just ask about not. her lifestyle. You know, you can start asking about. Okay, what what do you like to eat? And stuff. And she starts <laughs> start talking about. Well, I, I like pizza. I don't really get pepperonis, but I do get sausage from my pizza. <laughs> then you know. Okay, let me let me go ahead and <laughs> that forty five pounds I'm coming back. He's you like, like, he tried to throw shots at me because I got a sausage pepperoni pizza with you earlier. Well, That's what we doing now? So like for every date you're asking, so what did you eat for breakfast? <laughs> uh, so how many calories was that? Did you put did, butter did you on it? I'm going to ask the girl if she weigh her food, bro. Come on, man. Oh, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Make you, that make you nervous. All man. right, so let me, let me ask y'all this. you cannot see the person, that make you Let me yeah, ask y'all this, yeah. though. If, if you, Leo, and somebody tells you about the 45 pounds, will make you more nervous than that or the lady that's telling you, you got to pay? Yeah. If you Leo, and it's all good, he, he acting like money no object. He if missed I'm, the money no object. So it, if I'm Leo, but you clearly know that she like you because of the money. If that's what no, you're doing. but he's leading with the money. Yeah, so he's, he's like, it's, 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 like he it's, he's being a hypocrite. He's saying he don't want somebody to want him for the money, but yet still he's telling everybody on the show that he's got all this money yeah. and he really doesn't have to work, but he works anyways. It's yeah. just stupid. Like, I think it doesn't make sense. I think he might be an insecure dude. Yeah, he might be. Yeah, and that's why he is. Yeah, that's. Why he put he that got no money game. out there? Yeah, he got to leave with his money, bro. He, I'm so on, sick bro. of him, bro. Like, if I was mm -hmm. in that man's pot, I want to punch him in the face because <laughs> every single conversation we could be sitting here talking about, about money, the Falcons and the Saints. Yeah, you know, I make a lot of money, right? right. You know, I got a Rolex, uh, right? We sitting there talking about the rep, what the weather, you know, I got a Rolex and I right. make a lot of money, man. I, oh, yeah, I don't want yeah. nobody to be my friend because they like, uh, I got, they like all my money. Before we get out of here, before we get out of we do have to talk about one more couple. Specifically, Monica and Steven. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Now, you know, oh. th that's the one where I don't know Crazy. where this came from. It was like out of left field. Well, they went on a couple of days before and it was going all right. It was going good. They seemed to have right. rapport with each other. And so they started out with him kind of saying that he has evolved as a person. Part of evolution, he said he was in the service and she kept telling him, Thank you for her service. Mm -hmm. Every time they talk, he's like, right. Okay, you can stop now. <laughs> I know I served, but that's, right. that's enough. And so then it, it turned to him explaining his evolution. He said, hey, yeah. in the first election, I was in the military, I voted for President Trump. Right. And, and he said he, he didn't said, like he Hillary. He said, yeah. I couldn't stand Hillary. Right. I did no research. Yeah. I just didn't like her. Right. And then the second time around, he didn't like the way that Trump handled himself and handled mm -hmm. the he, uh, he didn't like so he voted for Biden. The insurrection and all that. So he voted for Biden. He said all things he did leading up to it even afterwards. He didn't like the way Trump handled himself. So he ex he did some some background work and he voted for Biden. He said now his parents are support Trump no matter what. Yeah, right there, Republican. Yeah. They vote nah, it doesn't even matter. He said matter. Right. he said that's crazy. Me, you should never support anybody no matter what. You should always do research right. and look at someone's character. Right. Which I can appreciate. I appreciate that. Right. And so then that brought him to. He said, well, that put me on a journey to look at my character. And so, uh, me and my sister did an ancestry. Well, but mm -hmm. first he said, you know, we always, we grew up, we thought yeah. we were well, Italian. He, said, that's yeah. What, yeah. he yeah. said his grandmother had always told him he was Italian. Right. And then mm -hmm. he went on and got an Italian tattoo. I think he has like the, the flag of Italy on him or something, something like that. Yeah, something, yeah, like, something that, like that. Yeah. So, he thought this whole time he was Italian. That's what his grandmother mm -hmm. told him. Yeah. And so then, they just happened to do an ancestry thing, I think, for a whole other reason. And then it came back. You not Italian, bro. Right. He said he had, it was like European was like 0.3. Like yeah, it wasn't even like a, yeah. it wasn't even a one percent. No, it was like less than one percent. Right. His highest percentage was Nigerian. Wait, no. it was, I don't think he he didn't say his highest percentage he said, was no, Nigerian. It was, it was he only said, like three percent or something no, like that. No, he, he he was what he was. No, taken aback by it. He was like, I yeah. had Nigerian ancestry. Yeah, he said, I think he said like Nigerian that. and Cameroon. But See, he, he might have. Yeah, I think he said that. So now, question. So now he's African American. Dude, just, <laughs> if you looked at him, would you say that? Bro, my first thing when I looked at him, I was like, yo, he looked like Blake Griffin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's what everybody that's what said. I said he look, he's like he a like bigger Blake version Griffin. of Blake he Griffin. He looked like a white guy. Nah, he like Blake Griffin. Nah, he looked like a white guy. He don't, he, he don't look like he got I can't it. say it that I I, 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 I saw Blake Griffin. Person. You saw Blake Griffin, I but that doesn't necessarily mean. I saw a white guy. What is the hair? The hair, the, the I mean, he looked mixed. Right. He looked okay. like Blake Griffin. Yeah, that's what I thought. He, I was like, he, he looked mixed to you? Nah, yeah, he, he looked like, like, like a bigger, like smaller like a white Blake Griffin. Guy, he looked like a white guy to me. Yeah, yeah. you, man, yeah. you heard all that Nigerian I would've, stuff. I would've, I would've, I would've, I would've you, not, man, bro, you could ask my wife, the first thing I was like, yo, that man looked like Blake Griffin. Like, that's his brother or bro, something like that. 
He doesn't look nothing like Blake Griffin. He looks like a white guy. Do you think he told her that specifically because he knows that she's black? Of course. Of course. And he he, he, he so. said that because he because she sounds like she's a black woman and he's like, man, you know, I got some black in me. I'm, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm down. I can go to the We can barbecue. go to the cookout. Hey. Yeah, I can go to the cookout. Prom you know, post. I'm there. Do you think he said that because it was convenient? He, he just brought that up now. All of a sudden, he's, he's black because he's dating a sister. Uh, yeah. So he wanted to make himself feel seem cool. Uh, yeah. That's what he is. Absolutely. But if he was with one of them, like the bit, the the other girl, the other white girl, so he wouldn't yeah. even brought that up, would he? Yeah, he would say he didn't like black. So he trying, he trying to say, hey, I won't be a Juneteenth eating the, eat, drinking the the, the, uh, the, the strawberry fake. So can you come to like cookout? I'm European? I mean, if you know how to play spades, come on. <laughs> you know how to play domino? Why not? Everybody's invited. Y'all can come through. He can come to the cookout. Yeah, he, he can come, come to through. Why not? Pull up on Juneteenth. We'll see if they Thank work you out. Strawberry Fago. Yeah, we'll see if they work out. She said that she's black and Honduran. Yeah, because she said yeah. she was confused about her background. So I guess they can talk about that because they we'll both see. have confusion. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see where. And if they go. have a child, their child's gonna be black because he's clearly black, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, definitely oh, check us out. We didn't tell the people if y'all yeah. know. Obviously, uh, Tyler and Ashley they got engaged, which yeah. was, was mm-hmm. a nice thing. That was it was a really nice engagement. Mm-hmm. It was, and I think they're gonna. They, they look gonna like they're it. really into each other. They're gonna make it. Okay, I think so. We're rooting for them. That's our favorite yeah. couple, right? For right so now. Far. So right far. Now. Right now. So far, there might be another so one on the horizon, but y'all gotta tune in the next episode yeah. to see who that might be. We'll it's gonna be Leo and Hannah. No, oh, God. <laughs> I want Leo to get off the show, dog. I'm tired of Leo. <laughs> I'm sick of Leo, dog. I don't want to see well, Leo I'm ever again. We need like, no antagonists. No, we don't need a nah, villain. Yeah, you don't watch us to find wack, a villain, bro. Dude. He's whack. He's, he's whack. whack dog. Uh, that and then there's a couple people wack. on there. I'll be like, they be showing them, but you never see their no. name. You never see them go on a date. They're not. They're not working. Out. Cause a brother, his hairline all the way in the back. I ain't seen him go on no dates. He gotta be on love is blind. Are you talking about the short? Is the short? Yeah, he's short. His hairline way in the back of his head. Yeah. Bro, I feel sorry. I'm Bro, sorry, y'all. Bruh. I don't judge dudes, but I'm sorry for whoever picks this guy, man. Because I would be like, the hairline in the back of your head, you gotta go on love is blind. Come oh on, man. man. I'm just saying, bro. He's short and hairline. He you know, know the hairline on the back of his head, bro. He gotta go on love is blind. That's Hey, y'all got something to say? He just need to let it go. He just need to let it go. Are you talking about? Um, is it Tamar? Is that the name? Is it this guy? No, not him. No, that's not, not him. him. He's a bald this, guy. Yeah, no, no, it's not guy. him. It's, 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 it's hold on. I'm about it's to like a white right guy. Now. Oh, it's a white guy. Yeah, it's a white guy. I'm I know. About to tell you right now. Oh, let me see. Here he is. Here he is. David. His name is David. David. Yeah. Okay. Somebody don't like David. No, you stop. Bro. Somebody don't like David. Hey, David. Look, there's, there's somebody for everybody. There's somebody, David, somebody let's get a right. bald head. Stop wearing your hair on the back no, of your head. Stop, man. Because he stop. can't do no comb over. <laughs> just stop. So oh, just yeah. stop and go ahead and get and get a ball. Yeah, bro. It's okay. Right. Just wear a hat, man. All right, yeah, y'all. y'all check us out on the next episode when we break down the, the, three the next six. three through six. Is that yeah. what we're going to do yeah, next? Three through six. six. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to just talk about this whole season and you know what I'm saying? Y'all let us know in the comments what you think. If you have any comments on who's your favorite couple and so forth, just let us know. And hopefully next episode, Mr. Dom will have golden goblets for us and we can oh, all be man. uniform just in a group. Oh my goodness. You know what I'm saying? Y'all said this is BBD and then y'all over here doing your own moves, man. Hey, man. hey Prime Post, you see what we got to work with, man? You see how these guys do us? Yeah, I see, man. Stuck with that bougie and all glass, man. Hey, bro. Hey.